Yeah, that's right, guys. It could have. And according to these court documents, a young juvenile provided critical information before the arrests were made. places to hide somebody out there. I very easily could have gone cold. Amanda Newland Davis runs a nonprofit to track unsolved cases in Oklahoma. Like so many people in the state, she's followed the case of Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly. These four people arrested over the weekend in Cimarron and Texas counties. It is a rural community that doesn't necessarily have the means to investigate crimes of this nature. So the fact that they called in the OSBI pretty quickly um, certainly helped. New court documents released Monday include details given to investigators by a juvenile family member of Cora and Cole Twombly, two of the suspects in the case. The documents say this family member, quote, was told to clean the interior of the Chevrolet pickup truck. They asked Cora what had happened and was told things did not go as planned, but they would not have to worry about her again. It was pretty clear from the onset that this was going to be like an internal domestic situation, and it was um, because there was the battle happening with the custody. The documents confirm Veronica was in a heated custody battle with her kid's grandmother, Tiffany Adams. The court documents say OSBI agents got a search warrant for Adams' phone on April 1st, just two days after the bureau was requested by the Texas County Sheriff's Office. In this kind of case, Davis says timing is everything, especially with cell phone records. You want somebody to have access to your cell phone data, just period, because if, if something wrong happens, I mean, the fact that my husband could get into our cell phone data and give the police those logins without having to get a warrant is huge. The affidavit for Tiffany Adams says she bought prepaid phones in Guyman back in February. OSBI was able to confirm those phones were, at one point, at the area where Veronica Butler's car was found, at Highway 95 and Road L in Texas County. That was the last known location of Butler and Kelly at the time they disappeared. It used to be they could be, you'd be looking at a 50 mile radius because of how the towers are. But now they're, they're locking that down into like very, very minimal spaces. Now, these documents also allege that there were previous attempts by these suspects to kill Veronica Butler. All four of the suspects are facing murder charges. From our newsroom, Jason Berger, KOCO 5 News.